Hello Lullas, welcome back to my channel where the dolls are fake but I am real. <laughs> okay, that was cute. Um, <laughs> thank you everybody that has subscribed to my channel. If you have not subscribed, if you would, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. But most of all, I need everybody that watch my videos to always give them a thumbs up. That's more important than anything. Thank you. Anyway, I'm here with baby Luca. And yes, he doesn't have on any clothes today. And he's not going to get on any clothes. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to dress him in this video. I am going to feed him though. Um, so, how y'all doing? <laughs> um, so, baby Luca is the thin skull um, by Lily and Breville. And I say this yes in every video because I still get questions about who is his sculptor, where do you get the kit, etc, etc. So, he is the thin sculpt by Lillian Breed film. He is painted by me. He'll be soon rooted by me as well. Um, he was poured by Claire Teller Dolls. Um, and I think sometimes people get confused by that. And I know um, Claire Teller made a video also referencing that, that people... Because she poured the dolls, they be like, oh, it's a Claritella doll. No, it's not. It's a Lillian Breville doll. This sculpt is sold out. Um, the only reason I was able to get one, like I said before, is because one of my um, customers actually um, sit, had the kit shipped to me. It was their kit. And they were going to get it done. He was a, he was going to be a custom. But they ended up buying another baby from me. And so I ended up with Finn. Because I decided I would basically buy the kit from my, um, from my customer. So that's how I ended up with him. Kind of, um, you know. Same thing happened with Louisa. I got them second hand. Basically, blank sculpts painted them. Um, but they are sold out uh, kits. So, but you know, like I said, P Lillian does a long layaway. She does like a 12 month layaway. So when people are like, oh my God, like, well, how are they just coming out? It's because people be to had it on layaway for so long and then when they do um when they do um by the time they come out you know the kit long sold out everybody kind of forgot about them and then it's kind of like i got a kit you know type thing um and then you know as people like i have one friend in the community that buy almost every kit that come out seem like and of course she can pat and paint them as fast as they come out and she has like all these blank kits you know, either on that way or lined up at her house, which is why, like I said, I hinted in the other video, I, I reached out to her, but she, she said, <laughs> I ain't gonna say her name because I don't want people contacting her, but she said, nope, she gonna paint her kit. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so that's how I end up with this one. Um, I had I actually had I actually true story is I actually sold my spot on my um, on my second fin and someone bought it from you know paid it off bought it from from Lillian so I end up with him back again. So anyway, that's that's just how it goes, um, you know. And sometimes babies are just meant to be with you, right, Luca? <laughs> um, you see why I like his name? You know how I always say Tuka Luca. He already got the name Luca at the end, girl. What? <laughs> so um, yeah. So anyway. The, uh, what was I going to tell you? I'm kind of distracted, guys. I'm kind of distracted. I don't want to, I'm not going to talk about it, but, yeah. Anyway, so, 
what was I gonna say? <laughs> oh, I got some new kits came in um, these last couple days. New vinyl kits. I'm so excited, guys. I got so many kits. Um, I do have um I I haven't had a time to actually do the um like show all my kits. I know that's a requested video. I do want to show it, but um problem is my kits are in my work area. So in order for me to not expose my work area, which is the, my silicone work area, which I don't show, um I would have to move move them all over and I will do it though um just when I get you know the time right now like I, I keep saying over and over again and I'm gonna say it until they are home with their mommies I am trying to finish up my last two customs and once I finish that up I will have lots of free time um also, the giveaway baby is pretty much done for the most part. Well, the painting part. I have a few final touches and the ceiling that I need to do, but haven't done that yet. And he is so cute. Um, feeling some type of way. <laughs> so, and I think he is actually a different color, believe it or not and all the other 15, 16 ones that I did. But it's gonna, I won't be able to really know until I seal them. That, that final seal kind of tells the story. Look at him. It's so good, it's so good. He just like people to talk to him. So, um, yeah. So I don't know who I'm gonna paint next. I have, I, I, I even ordered some old kits. Oh my gosh, I, I got another kit coming that I never thought I would, you know, buy this sculpt to work, but I want to see it in person, so I had to order it. So I ordered it. I don't know about you guys, but for me, sometimes the kits, the way they look on camera, and then when you actually get the kit, it's either the size is bigger than you thought, smaller than you thought, same size, but the face looks different. Something just looks different in person, so I be needing to see these kits in person. So um yeah so i ordered a different kit but i know i'm just rambling about a whole bunch of yap with not giving a whole lot of information and <sighs> this little boy so question someone asked do I, do, will I sell, do I think there's a possibility that I will sell my Luca? And, um, right now I definitely say no, but you know how it goes. Sometimes we'd be like, ah, he is not like, um, Phoebe. Phoebe is a never. Phoebe can never leave leave um, me, so. Um, but Luca is not one that I would say that he would never leave. But I don't see it in this future anytime soon. Um, I just absolutely love him. Like I don't know, you know I. I'm really really now. Winter is more of my cuddle bug, but he cuddles in nicely too. But nothing like winter. Winter is like her whole, her, she's just a whole nother little cuddle bug. But I love, I love the soft silicone. And I know it's just so much negativity that, that drives around the soft silicone. And it's just so many things that I feel like is like, not really, I don't know, I don't want to say factual, but I think you can break, destroy, tear up, rip, anything if you are careless enough or you, you know, make the wrong move or whatever 
just like a real baby, you can hurt them <laughs> just as well. Um, not that they're not the well made, <laughs> they just, you know, I think, but for me, in my only, my personal experience, and a lot of my other friends that have been collecting silicone, like, as long as me or longer than me, the soft silicone is less likely to tear rip than the uh, firmer silicone. But that is the myth that a lot of people are putting out there. And I think a lot of it is based off the fact that from what I understand, it is so hard to get it out the mold. And, you know, the molds don't last as long. So which means uh, they tear up the molds. And especially for people that copy kits and can't re-sculpt it or, you know, redo, you know, if an arm break off or something and they they need, they need to re-sculpt it, they can't do it because they didn't sculpt the first limb. So that's a struggle for a lot of people too because there's so many people out here copying kids. But anyway, that's none of my business. That's their business. But um, at the same time, even people that do sculpt and are, you know, just not as experienced with the, the, the pouring part and getting the dolls out of mold. Because from what I understand... If you notice, most people have their husbands pull the babies out of the mold and stuff because they say it takes a lot of manpower for that. So, <laughs> so I think a lot of it is just basically just trying to take the interest away from the soft silicone because they don't want to have to pour it. But it's in high demand right now. So, you know, they got to put some fear out there so people can slow down and be like, nah, I just, I'll just take it in the in the Equiflex 20, I'll take it in Equiflex 50, <laughs> I'll take it in Dragon Skin. I'm telling you right now in today's climate of silicone collecting, if you put a Equiflex 20, 30, unless it's a partial silicone, um, I, I would prefer the Super Soft every time. The only, the only time, like I said, if it's a partial, if it's a partial, I'll take it in Equiflex 20 or 30, actually, if it's a partial silicone. But for me, this part of the baby is thick, right? So if the silicone is super thick, that's going to be very hard and stiff. And there's not going to be any you know, like he can move up. It's not going to be any of that. It's going to be, um, it's going to, it's going to be stiff and it's not going to cuddle good. Um, so yeah. And then like, you know, especially like even babies I see, they have like, um, I seen a kid the other day. It was a copy of, never mind. I seen a kid the other day and it, they had added more to the stomach and made it more poof. But to me, that was an absolutely no, don't want it kit because, not for me personally, because it's not gonna cuddle. Because it's, it, unless they pour it in puddle, soft, or, <laughs> you know, do the squishy tummy part, that thing ain't gonna have much bend and movement. It ain't gonna curl in. You know what I mean? Like it's not gonna, there's there's not gonna be any bending with that thick stomach, like those huge fat stomachs. But I think too, part of it is another part of the the whole scenario is, do you realize how many people make dolls that absolutely do not like dolls or do not collect them whatsoever? Never really even pick up the doll. Some people, you know, they just don't know, and it 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 changes the way that they put the dolls together. It makes a big difference because they don't understand what we like and what we want. You know what I mean? Versus someone that actually collect. There's some people that actually collect the dolls. They're into it. They, you know, they hold their work. They enjoy their work, you know, and so they know. When you look at, um, and I don't want to over speak here. I'm just talking about a few people. But when you look at people like Laura Tuzo Ross, Bonnie Brown, Claire Taylor, um, they actually collect, I think. And so, and they actually really enjoy their work. 
So when they actually enjoy their work and collect, it just kind of gives us more. So I don't know, like if you've ever owned one of those sculptors work, you can feel something in their work too. Anyway, I got all off subject. This video is too long, but um, we'll catch up with you in the next video. See you guys later. Bye-bye.